Hi, and welcome to the first Wood Framing Wall Plus Getting Started video. We are going to show you how to load Wood Framing Wall Plus families and how to quickly frame walls without creating framing configurations. We will explore the standard framing procedure after loading families in our next video. For starters, you can open the sample Revit project template. So let's go to the T4R wood framing panel in Revit ribbon and open up the Wall Plus tool. Then navigate to Settings and click Load Families. So now we can see a table where you can pick and choose which family packages you would like to load. The main families are already picked. These include framing studs, plates, and etc. We can also choose sample details, which consists of structural connection elements. We can also pick sample schedules, sample tags, and the siding families, which contain wooden cladding elements. All the other family packages will be explored in our future videos. In the bottom, we also have an option to load your own created families. Click OK, and the selected family packages will be loaded into your project. So now the families have been loaded, and you can find these in the project browser. So if we scroll down, we have structural connection and structural framing family categories. For example, so if we expand structural framing, you will see we have loads of different framing elements. For instance, we have horizontal plates or vertical studs. And you can also create new types of framing elements by duplicating and by simply changing the size parameters. And now we are ready to quick frame. Please note that this is not a standard way to frame, because usually we need to set up framing configurations and link wall types before framing. We will explore these steps in the next video. This time we will do the quick frame for a quick presentation. So now let's go and choose our wall type. For this tutorial only, you can pick any wall type that has a structural layer and has its materials assigned. Because without assigned materials, our BIM tool will simply not work. We're just going to quickly rename this to TMBR. And I'm not going to edit the structural layer material from metal to wood. We will look at the wall type materials in the next video. And let's just reduce the wall height. And let's draw our wall. So now we have our wall ready and we can go to the 3D view. And for clarity, we can increase the wall transparency so that we can see the frame when it's made. We can also change the visual style to shade it. And so the last step is to simply pick the wall and press Frame Wall in the Wall Plus tool. And you will receive this report which says that we need to select the new configuration. So that's totally fine because we haven't created any configurations yet. So we are just going to proceed with the sample configuration and what will simply happen now is that our tool will adapt the framing families to the wall structural layer thickness. And that's it. We have our frame. And you can now see it includes vertical studs, it includes noggins and horizontal plates. We can also go to the plan view. And let's just increase the detail level. And that's how you can save time on wall framing. Don't forget to check our next video where we will look at the standard framing process. So thanks for watching and see you next time.